Hi, um, today I want to talk about another MCMC algorithm, which is the Gibbs sampling. So uh, previously I have talked about um, uh, in terms of um, random sampling, I have talked about um, how to generate random uniform distribution by using a linear congruential method. And then I have also talked about um, inverse CDF method as well as the reject accept accept and rejection sampling. They are um, so far have covered um, how to generate um, random numbers as well as to generate random sampling from a uni uh, univariate uh, distribution. So um, today the Gibbs sampling, which is to um, which is to sampling data from uh, from a higher dimension which is um, for more than uh, one variables. So uh, when you approach um, higher dimension, there are lots of other issues. So today we are going to talk about GIP sampling to cover um, high dimensional sampling. So in today's example, I have a, I have a um, density uh, function here which uh, is uh, f of x and y. So yes, you can see this bivariate um, density distribution. And um, so for uh, Gibbs sampling, basically, um, so uh, what we are doing is that um, as if uh, a direct sampling from a higher dimensional um, density probability function uh, can be very difficult. So uh, to uh, to make it easier, we look into the conditional probability density function, which is uh, which is we sampling from one dimension, given that um, the um, the data or um, uh, you can think of it as a coordinate from other variables are given. So if you have, for example, if you have other, let's say, uh, x, y, z, w, let's say the, if this is a, a probability density function with uh, four variables, then you are sampling f of x given y, z, and w, and then sampling y uh, given that, um, um, let's say, z and w, and then you are also going to sampling f of um, f of uh, a z given the other three and the f of w given given the other three. Um, after uh, after um, you generate four uh, s um, numbers from four uh, conditional density function, then you have one sample from this um, from the from your target distribution. However, uh, like the metropolis algorithm that I previously covered, uh, there's also some uh, burn-in period. So there's some data. There's some uh, at the beginning. There's some data point, which is help you to converge to your target area. But uh, they are uh, you need to uh, throw them away in order to get the actual sampling for the data. So for this example, I have f of i, uh, f of x and y. This is uh, the PDF, and then calculate the conditional or the uh, the conditional density uh, probability function, which is uh, f of x y uh, divided by f of x. You will get the prob um, the probability uh, the conditional probability density function. So basically, for f of x, basically you just uh, do the interval from negative infinity to positive infinity on uh, dy and for f of y you just uh, do the same for uh, d of dx and then you would get this uh, function f of x and f of y and then you use f of x y divided by the marginal distribution you would get the conditional density uh, or the conditional probability uh, function so uh, you can try to calculate this and verify the um, the conditional density prob uh, probability function and then so you can think of this as now you can think of this as a univariate um, univariate um, probability density function so and then as as what we have covered before you can use the inverse CDF method to sampling from f of x 
So that's your first step. And then you sampling from f of y, given the x that you generate from your previous iteration. So that basically the algorithm is that you generate f j plus 1 uh, from f of x given y given a y of uh, from your previous uh, iteration and then you generate a new uh, y value based on the x value you just generate from your from um, from from the previous iteration so as um, and then if you run for a, a very large number of iteration then your um, when you remove the burn in area or the burn in period uh, the data from the burn in period and then you will get the target um, you will get the uh, data from the target sampling distribution so now uh, I have derived so, so far here I have derived the conditional density uh, probability density function and then I'm going to use inverse CDF method that I have covered before to generate a sample from a univariate distribution. So, um, so these are based uh, the integral, some calculation. So I would recommend that you cover, um, you try to do this by hand, and then to validate your result to see if you actually can uh, derive from a bivariate probability density function to the marginal density function and then uh, and then to further uh, calculate the conditional density probability function and also try to calculate by hand uh, using the inverse CDF method to derive um, the, the your uh, the calculation um, for um, um, that you um, to calculate the value of x or y from your uh, uniform distribution. So when you're sampling on x, you pretend that y is a fixed variable. So for example here, I'm, so this is the function for, um, so this is for uh, uh, generate sampling from f of y given x. So you can see that there are x here in this uh, formula here. But uh, when you're sampling from f of y given x, you pretend that x is a given number, which is the, set, the data from your previous iteration. So you pretend your x in this formula is given, and then you generate a sam uniform sam uh, sample. When you plug both x uh, from, your, uh, from your previous iteration, when you plug in both um, u and x of um, j plus 1 and then you would get um, this will be your new sample or your new coordinate for your um, y variables so basically keep sampling is that uh, when it is very difficult to direct sample from a higher dimensional um, density probability function then we try to um, calculate the conditional uh, univariate um, probability density function and then we sampling one variable at a time given that the uh, um, the, the um, data from the uh, the coordinate from the other variables are given so uh, by running um, um, so within each iteration you need to generate um, you need to run this uh, you need to run uh, the algorithm um, at the time that is equal to how many variable unknown variables you have in your um, in your function since I have two variables in my target distribution so within each iteration I need to generate uh, x coordinate and y coordinate within each iteration so now I'm going to show you the code to generate um, for this target distribution and I really recommend that you try to calculate manually for all these um, here for uh, this part to either for your practice or to validate whether I'm um, my calculation is correct and also for your own uh, understanding for this algorithm so uh, here I'm going to generate um, one uniform distribution 
uh, one uh, sample from un uh, uniform distribution, and then I plug that in in as u and pretend that y is given from my previous um, uh, iteration, which in this case I have to set a starting point. So in my case, or in each of um, in any Gibbs sampling, you need to um, you need to assign a starting value. So uh, the performance of your Gibbs sampling is also depend your initial value. So if you set a good um, if you have a good uh, initial value, then it is very likely that you converge faster than if you set a very um, a worse or a, 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 a unreasonable uh, initial value. So here, I'm, my initial value for um, so this is um, you can think of this as f x j and y j. So that is actually my first sample data from this distribution. But um, but whether this sam this sampling this uh, one data point is reasonable or not, it is unknown to us. So that's why we need to use the conditional density function to keep sampling um, until we converge to the target distribution. So now we run a 2000 iteration and using the inverse uh, CDF uh, function uh, method here to generate from the uh, univariate um, um, density, density function here for both x and y, and then I run it for 2,000 times, given uh, a one initial value. So after 2,000 iteration, let's take a look at uh, our, um, our result. So now I'm just going to show you my first 50 iteration. Okay, so as you can see here, I started from, uh, so here my um, coordinate uh, my my axis are for y and x and y as you can see that I start my initial value that I, I started uh, from negative 5 negative 5 for both x and y and then you can see that my second sampling it is already uh, pushing me toward the target distribution as long as uh, and then as far as my third um, sampling data, you can see that it is already um, falling into my target distribution. So you can see that after three iteration, my convergence, uh, I'm already uh, hitting my um, target distribution. But this is only uh, a two uh, bivariate cases, uh, this, uh, bivariate case. So if you have, let's say, um, for example, let's say if you want to sample it from an image, which there are, let's say you have a 255 pixel in your image, then you will have 255 variables here, which it might take a long run to get to 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 uh, approach your target distribution. And and within each iteration, you need to run 255 times for uh, each variables. Well, this is. Um, uh, theoretically, you can do that. However, um, when you reach higher dimensional, uh, when you're talking about higher dimensional data, you, there are some other method in the, in the publication to talk about uh, the sampling from a higher dimensional um, probability density function. Okay, so as you can see here, for my third iteration, I'm already hitting my um, target distribution, uh, target region. So let's take a look for uh, all 2,000 variables. So you can see that my actual, the, my target distribution, it is actually uh, in this area. Even if I started from a very bad location, I, uh, in the in the end, I am all I'm I'm getting my target distribution. So, so the data point for these two, or even the first, um, the beginning, is called a burn in. So you can remove those. So now you can see that these points are your are the random sampling from your target distribution. 
So by removing my first three sampling points, you can get uh, a pretty good um, sample data from your target distribution. Okay, so now let's take a look at the density function here. So um, you have uh, x and y, and then this is your um, uh, density function. That uh, uh, probability density, uh, this is your density um, distribution for uh, x and y. And then you can see that it is uh, the data we get, it is covering, uh, covering um, the, the target distribution. And also, I just find out there's another um, um, package to make a 3D graph. So um, here, you can see that, um, it, uh, so for your x and y, and, and uh, actually, uh, yeah, so uh, I, I have already removed uh, first uh, five uh, sample uh, data points. So now this is your um, your, your uh, target distribution uh, from here. So right now the data that I stored in X and Y are the random sample here. So with this package, you can uh, visualize the density distribution as well as the coordinate and the pro and the uh, probability for uh for the distribution so um this this um is this uh, package is pretty uh, fancy for showing a uh, density distribution so there are lots of um, um algorithm for example for generative model you need to basically what uh um the algorithm doing is that uh you generate random sampling from your target distribution and then let's say you have 255 variables here if um, if you can generate like 200 samples from your target distribution basically if you are doing a uh, cov net for uh, image recognition if you can uh, uh, modeling if you have a model for your uh, image and then if you can sampling from your from your model which means you are basically generating image based on the image that you learn. But like I said, for uh, 255 variables, uh, for uh, to sampling from such uh, distribution can be very difficult. So you need to take, you need to do more. Um, there are more uh, com or sophi sophisticated method to generate. Uh, data from such a high dimensional um, probability density function so uh, so this is how you can use a uh, keep sampling to generate uh, 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 more than one variables uh, using uh, keep sampling which is another uh, MCMC algorithm so uh, thank you very much, and uh, let me know if you have any questions.